It is nearly eight months since the construction of the Mombasa Nairobi Standard Gauge Railway Line began. Besides its promise of lowering transportation cost upon its completion, local businesses are expected to benefit by supplying at least 40% of the project's inputs in the next three years of its construction. According to the Ministry of Industrialization, at least 23 billion shillings worth of goods and services have been procured locally towards the multi-billion shillings project. We're still at a very early stage of this project. There's a lot more that is you know, coming between now and 2017. Among the project's biggest beneficiaries so far are cement manufacturers who are said to have supplied 150,000 tons of cement. Local steel manufacturers are said to have sold 330 million shillings worth of steel to the mega infrastructure project. But it is still not clear how far the SGR project is from meeting the minimum local sourcing quota. We know what the aspiration is. Uh, we know what is being procured. We've given the quantity. But really, the issue is we are not at 40%, I can tell you that, but we are making sure that we are working on the logistics and removing the blocks of what is stopping us from getting to that as quickly as possible. Even though we had a list to start with of what should be imported and what should be produced locally, it is always better to continue to revise the list to see if more Kenyan manufacturers are able to supply. Through a press statement, the project's contractor, China Road and Bridge Corporation, has reaffirmed that it will engage with more local firms to meet its end of the bargain. So far, at least 10,000 Kenyans have been employed to work on the railway, with another 20,000 expected to join the SGR's workforce by mid next year. Patrick Igunza, The Big Question.